Well, a new Omicron variant is starting to make its presence known here across the U.S. Early indications suggest that the variant isn't more dangerous or deadly, but could be just as contagious. BNC's Drake Clark has more on the new variant called BA2. BA2 is a subvariant of BA1, the original Omicron variant. It's mostly present right now overseas in the UK and in countries like Denmark, but it's also here in the US and being closely watched. From coast to coast, millions of Americans have been infected with the Omicron variant. But in recent days, some good news. It appears the number of new cases are dropping in most parts of the country. In the Northeast and Midwest, hospitalizations are going down. We still have a considerable amount of activity in southern states and western states, but we project that in the next week or two or more, we're going to start seeing the same peak and coming down. But now public health officials are watching a new Omicron variant. BA2, as it's called, is a subvariant, and it's been found in Europe, Asia, and parts of the U.S. Not a lot is known about BA2. Health officials are working to find out if the variant could potentially move faster and be more dangerous than the original Omicron variant. The World Health Organization is among those keeping close watch. Globally, the conditions are ideal for more variants to emerge. Less than 100 BA2 cases have been found here in the U.S. Washington State confirms it has at least two cases, and doctors at Houston Methodist Hospital in Texas say they found three so far. Arizona and California have also reported cases. The CDC believes all COVID-19 vaccines will be effective against BA2. The most concerning question remains, could it be just as contagious as its predecessor BA2? The stunning thing about Omicron is how remarkably infectious it is. Meanwhile, Pfizer says in just a few months, it could have a vaccine to combat Omicron. Close to 1,500 people are now in clinical trials. And if the vaccine proves effective and passes all federal guidelines, Pfizer says the vaccine could be available sometime in March. Public health officials still say your best chance of beating either of the variants BA1 or 2 is to be fully vaccinated and boosted. In New York, I'm Dre Clark for BNC.